Luke O'Neill, welcome to Stevenage. First of all, what are your thoughts upon signing? Uh, obviously, I'm really, really pleased to be here. Um, the setup was brilliant. I didn't realise how good of a setup it's, it was. Um, now I'm pleased and, and I'm ready to go. Look forward to it. And over the last few years, you've had spells at Southend, Gillingham, um, Gilling Wimbledon. Um, what was it about Stevenage that made you want to join? Was it the conversations with the manager? Yeah, I think um, the manager was, was up there. I think um, to come in and when, when you get that from the manager, um, it's always good to know that you can go in and, and play your, your, your football. Um, I was without a club. I left Wimbledon in the summer. Um, and, you know, I've been keeping fit, playing games, and, and I'm ready to go now. And obviously, you You've had those clubs, or any of those, I mean, your new teammates, did you know before? I know you were at Gillingham with Elliot List, is yeah. there anyone else? Yeah, no, so I know quite a few of the boys. I know um, Ben Coker, I know Prosser, Jake Taylor, um, Scotty. So I know a few of the boys and um, I played against a few of the other boys as well. So it's always nice to come into a club knowing a few of the, a few of the faces and um, get mixed in with the boys. And you come to Stevenage with Seaman is looking for a positive second half of the season. Um, how confident are you that we'll be able to do that and you'll be able to have a positive, positive effect on the team? Yeah, from what I've seen in training, it's, it's been really good. The boys uh, seem a really good bunch of lads and um, the standards have been really good. So I can't see why uh, I can't push on now and, and have a good second half into the season. And just finally, back in action at the Lamex Stadium on Saturday. Um, how are you feeling? Are you fit and well? And how much are you looking forward to playing in front of those sports? Yeah, no, I can't wait, like I said. Um, it'll be nice to meet the fans. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to get going.